and it's done by. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Fireworks. Guys, this is for Prime, okay? Here's the Picasso Mini. Okay. And something about taking these stairs downstairs, it's just a, a thing. Okay. This Picasso about to be closed down. The most iconic Vegas restaurant, I think. Because uh, at this point, Bellagio property and the Bellagio fountain is the most iconic current attraction, okay? To the right is Prime, okay? Beautiful decor, and here, this is Prime. And I'll give you a little walkthrough of Prime. Very classic European vibe in here. Just beautiful in here. Although, this is John George's. The food over at John George's at Aria is better, but the decor in here is just on a whole different level than, than John George's over there at Aria. I like John George's, but this is just more classic, classic. So the way I break it down is this is analog, and over there, John George's, that's digital. So depending on what you need and what you want, you gotta do what you gotta do. So let's walk over to Picasso here. So remember, these are the two restaurants that's downstairs on water level. I mentioned Prime Steakhouse as a viable option just in case Picasso closes by the time you get here. Check out my Prime video. Hey, 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 what up? So the last dinner service is going to be August 16th. Iconic, iconic restaurant. I don't know what's going to be after this. And I didn't ask because I just don't want to know at this point. Okay, let's walk outside. Technically, patio seating is first come, first serve. However, for guaranteed patio reservations, there's a minimum spend of $250 per person. Let's walk outside. And this is the table that I want, this one right here. This is what we call the Kobe Bryant table because this is called the number 81 table, you know, because he scored 81 against the Toronto Raptors at one time. Last time here, probably my last time. The classic. This is the tasting menu here on this side. Classic. And then you have the prefix. I don't know what the difference because you sort of kind of pick on this side, but uh, I don't know. I sort of gravitated on this side. However, tonight they don't have pigeon. I want to have some pigeon before I go out because that's my favorite dish here. However, they ran out of pigeon. It's all good though. I get to try a dish I've never tried here, and it's the one, boom, 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 this one. Roasted milk-fed veal chop. Never had that here, so we'll give that a try. Let's compare to that, to the one we had over at the Carbone. Okay. 165, 185. Hey, hey, hey. How are y'all? Course number one, a mouche I'm not sure if you take this first or you do the soup first, but let's go with the steak. OG dishes here. And this is a cold shot here. Hot, cold, wash it down, boom, boom, boom. And then you get to see the fountains. Guys, it, it is warm out here, okay? 
but we're so close to the water. Remember, we're on the water level, so you do have water sprinkles kind of chilling you down. And we do have prime time sitting here, guys. Grandma pulled this off for us, guys. Shout out to Grandma. Hey, hey, hey. Oh boy, for those who don't know, she's not my real grandma. She's a, a good friend of our channel here, and she's invited me to be the third wheel. She's here with her husband on a romantic date, but I'm over here kind of doing my thing. Thank you, Selena, and to your husband for inviting me. First course, but that music in the background, just LA represent. We hear some mariachi going on, uh, doing their thing. Oh, wait a minute, this could be banda music. Is this banda or mariachi, guys? Let me know, comment below. I'm from Los Angeles, so I'm used to this music and I love it. Oh, yeah, this is a uh, empirical ham here. Let's taste this. Wow, this is incredible. It's like silky bacon delicate in texture and flavor not too salty it sort of melts in your mouth but has a bite and uh, very rich so you need a little bite of this to kind of cut it through this is the pata negra right pata negra never had this here little clarity on champagne now widow clicko she did not invent champagne however she did invent the champagne that we oh, enjoy probably. today oh, before her too. champagne used to be murky and not pleasing to look at however she created this riddling process that makes champagne clear bubbly and just beautiful to look at yes. champagne bubble sizes differ with different brands Vouv clicko is known for their beautiful tiny bubbles that many seek cheers Oh, am I supposed to sip on champagne? Hey, hey, hey. Check this out, guys. Thank you. Some quail came out, guys. Quail salad. I've never had this, guys. This one's my first time having it. No pigeon, but we got quail, one of my favorite uh, proteins. Right, y'all. This is the the lamps of salad. <laughs> but uh, let's try this out, guys. Um, we got some uh, ikura down there. It looks like some eggs. Beautiful looking eggs. And then we'll layer it on top of the uh, lobster. Oh wow! The seafood goodness of the lobster is accentuated by the bursting bubbles of the salty goodness of the ikura. By the way, I don't think ikura is caviar, but on the menu it said caviar. Let's try one of these bites here. Cute looking little quail. Quail, very tasty. Let's try it. Mm. Guys, tastes like chicken. It tastes like pundak, like Korean fried Korean chicken. I just need some little radish. Is that pine nuts? No. Guys, I think we see pine nuts. Are y'all pine nuts? It's a, oh, it's a salad situation here, guys. You know what? Let's just put it one bite. Here's scallop, served over a 
creamy potato mozzarella, finished with a red wine reduction and a crunchy potato chip. As well for you, we have the tart of the foie gras, served over a bit of a rhubarb puree, finished with berries on top. Enjoy! Thank you. You don't mess with scallop, huh? This is scallop. Very pretty. And uh, taste some of this. Now, these are some dishes I've never had here at Picasso, so I'm glad to try some of these dishes out. Um, guys, one bite. Everyone knows the rules. Oh yeah, way to sear this. The way they they art this out, very artistic to pull this off. This one, it almost looks like a, like a peanut butter jelly situation here. guys it's good delicious and I like how it's offset by this like a jelly jam situation down there a little sweetness to offset everything mm. oh yeah there's a toast on the bottom too guys I really enjoyed this foie gras. Uh, it had a crust on the bottom and a sweet little jelly situation to offset the, all the richness. Last bite. Um, in front of you, we have our pan sir hot tamale foie gras. Served over a bit of a luxardo and sour cherries. Finished with a hazelnut and a whole grain mustard glaze on top with a cookie with a twill on top. Please enjoy. Thank you. Guys, this looks like a, like a filet mignon or something like that. But this is straight up seared foie gras with a cookie on top. Look at that beautiful cookie. Sort of like a lotus root looking thing. And uh, the cutest little leaf. All right, let's try this. It's very okay. Wow. Oh, this is like a natural foie gras steak. Okay. Uh, all right. Eat it with the cherry. Oh wow. No. Oh. Like a natural steak. This is foie gras in its natural state. The one we had earlier is terrine. Terrine is like foie gras pound cake. Very heavy, like rich, dense cream. It almost tastes like facial cream. It, I'm eating this and it tastes like a duck. Oh, this is incredible, guys. It's fatty, juicy, all that good stuff. Wow. The flavor just just burst in the mouth. Here's the cocktail menu. We were a little bit short of our per person minimal spend for the guaranteed patio reservation. So grandma ordered this. Whew. Wow, the little spritz we're getting. Just beautiful. Check it out, cocktail. Cheers. Cheers. Let us know how it is, Selena. Good margarita. Okay. I hear BTS, guys. What do you hear? Real championship. Wow, this is way bigger than I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is a big piece. It's a nice big piece. Rosemary potato, some hearty root vegetables, machine. You have a little spicy horseradish. Same with you, madame, with the filet mignon. Uh, potato mousseline, a red wine deal reduction, uh, and sea filet Chilean sea bass, 
hollandaise sauce and some free corn crispy crab leeks on the top. And this for the veal was here. Red wine oh. meal reduction wow. right over the veal. Nice, thank you. Beautiful. Enjoy. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Now, I've never got the veal here for one reason or another. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful looking dish. This is a meal that uh, you could get full off. This is substantial and not marginal. You know, even the, the vegetable pieces are just like, yeah, eat some. Boom, boom, boom. I didn't hear what that was, guys, but that looks beautiful. And I'm a huge fan of horseradish, so we got some of that right there. How would you like your thing cooked? I don't know. I forgot. Let's see. I'm burning inside. I'm trying to play this cool because I just met Selena's husband. That was uh, really spicy. Oh, broccoli? Yeah, I think these are oysters. These taste like uh, abalone. And let's get into this. I feel like this is like a turnip or a daikon. Oh yeah, or mushroom. <laughs> this is not mushroom, guys. This is a potato. Oh boy, that horseradish. I'm still burning inside. It got my mind all messed up right now. I don't have much experience with veal. Um, and this is like veal. Not a breaded veal. This is straight up boom. Hey, hey, hey. Just like that South Park episode. You see, with veal, the whole key is keeping the cows chained so they can't walk around or get any exercise. That way, their muscle tissue stays soft and makes for tender veal. Wait a minute. Veal is... Little baby cows? Yepper! Something you have to watch. Dessert menu. I'm guessing this is what that is. Um, and then here are the liquid desserts. passion fruit and mango sorbet, the strawberry charlotte, finished with a strawberry puree, fresh strawberry and mint, grand manier souffle, served with a chocolate gelato and a glaze. Chef recommends poke the center and pour the glaze inside. All right. Thank you so much. Would you like me to do it for you? Yes, I want to poke it and could you pour it for me, please? Thank you very much. Yes. Okay, poke it. Bam. There you go. Thank you very much. Come to me now. Thank you. Mm. Oh yeah, guys. The orange liqueur in there, Grand Marnier, offset it with a little chocolate. That combination, guys, it works. Classic, classic combination. Oh, wow. That was a Krispy Kreme. So good. It's a little good. salty. Salty. Oh, it's like salted on the... Is that salt on the bottom? Oh, beautiful. Coconut. Coconut, a little salt on the bottom right there. Salted caramel. Mango ice cream. Nice. This is the uh, strawberry shortcake. Picasso version. Looks beautiful. I think I got the sweeter one here. So 
if you want a sweeter kind of a dessert situation souffle i noticed even when they had the pistachio it's on a sweeter note so if you have a sweet tooth perhaps consider this one Last time walking out, Picasso. Last time walking out. All right, y'all, for the last time. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please push that like button. Comment below. Every one of your engagements makes a huge impact for a Michael channel like this one. And if you plan on coming back, please subscribe. All right, y'all, thank you for watching. And please come again. Bye-bye.